Are you passionate about junk journaling and scrapbooking? Looking for the perfect AI prompts and tools to craft stunning visuals like these? If so, you're in the right place. Whether you're hunting for fresh ideas or seeking a tool to streamline your creative workflow, this video is for you. Welcome digital artists. I'm Galia from AI Creative Tools. In this video, we'll be exploring the Junk Journal Prompt Builder, how it works, what it offers, and the kinds of beautiful designs you can create with it. By the end, you'll know how to craft prompts for anything from digital paper to ephemera, even if you're new to AI tools. On screen, you can see a quick overview of the Junk Journal Prompt Builder in action. It's designed to be intuitive, but if you're new here, be sure to check out our Prompt Builder Basics video for a full walkthrough of the tool. Let's break down the structure of the tool. The key sections are composition, style, and parameters, with some drop-down lists exclusive to the Pro version. Your final prompt is generated here, and it updates automatically with every selection. By default, digital paper is selected, the theme and digital product are critical elements that appear at the start of your prompt, so choose them thoughtfully. Our visual example sheet helps you by offering clear illustrations of the available themes. We've curated 11 preset themes for popular junk journaling styles, like vintage, gothic, and steampunk. If you want something more personalized, you can always add custom themes via the custom details field in the composition block, or by adding your theme to the custom options table in the pro version. The digital product field offers a wide variety of formats that are familiar and well-suited to mid-journey, ensuring that the AI can accurately interpret your selections. Although all the images in the visual examples are presented as square for consistency, it's important to remember that aspect ratio has a significant impact on your final design. While common junk journal aspect ratios like 17 to 22 and 22 to 17 are pre-filled options in the builder, certain digital products will benefit from other ratios. For example, creating a bookmark with a square aspect ratio may result in an image that looks more like a mock-up, requiring you to manually crop the design. However, using a narrow ratio like 1 to 3 will generate a ready-to-use bookmark design without needing any adjustments. Keep this aspect ratio consideration in mind when creating specific items. Regarding objects and backgrounds, the Junk Journal Prompt Builder gives you flexibility to create designs focused on both. You can select from pre-filled lists or type in your own in the Custom Object field. Object Details allows you to refine the look of your object or adding an empty center for backgrounds or frames. Vibe Aesthetic helps add depth to your designs, complementing the selected theme. When designing clip art or stickers, don't forget to add isolated on white in your prompt for a clean output. You can further personalize your objects with custom details using the available fields. Next, we dive into the style block, where you'll find options for colors and styles. Color palette sets the mood, like dark or shiny, while color preset defines the actual hues, such as sepia or shades of blue. You can also add your own color choices, which take precedence in the final prompt. Basic style is the first step in your style creation. For example, you can make your design 3D or multi-layered. For inspiration, our visual examples sheet showcases various style options, giving you ideas for digital papers and ephemera. The style details dropdown contains options like hand painted or symmetrical, which you can combine for a more unique look if you're using the pro version with multiple selection mode. If you have the basic version, this list isn't available, but you can still manually write any additions in the custom field. When talking about aspect ratios for various digital products, We've already touched on parameters, but let's dive a bit deeper. While creating prompts for junk journal images, always choose the latest mid-journey version, as each update tends to improve the quality of these types of images. A crucial tool here is negative prompting. One issue we encountered when developing the junk journal prompt builder was that the AI would sometimes produce mock-ups instead of the intended designs. To counter this, using double dash no mock-up can be effective, Adding more text to the prompt describing the design itself also helps. 
and remember to factor in the aspect ratio, as we've already mentioned. Another piece of advice is regarding stylized values. When creating junk journal images, increasing the stylized parameter tends to push Midjourney towards generating more 3D-like images. For more detailed information on how to use Midjourney's parameters effectively, we recommend checking out our guides on Prompt Builder Basics and Pro Features. Yes, the Prompt Builder is fully customizable, and additionally, we've provided some example prompts to help you get started. These are available through the Presets, a helpful pro feature to guide you. Simply choose a preset from the list and watch as the Prompt Builder fills in automatically. You can view the outcomes of these presets on the Visual Examples sheet. There are eight presets to get you started, and keep in mind that they are fully customizable, meaning you can always change objects, colors, or any other detail you want. The Prompt Builder produces universal prompts that can also be used in other text-to-image AI generators like DAL-E, Ideogram, Leonardo, and Flux. Keep in mind that the same prompt may produce different results in each tool due to variations in their training data sets. Also, avoid using the Parameters section for tools other than Midjourney, as they are specific to Midjourney's interface. For the best results in other AI tools, we highly recommend using the Enhance with ChatGPT button if you have the Pro version. This feature creates more detailed prompts that work better across different platforms. However, from our experience, Midjourney excels in the junk journal theme, delivering superior results compared to other AIs. That's everything you need to start creating amazing prompts and images with the Junk Journal Prompt Builder. Good luck with your digital creations. All the images featured in this video were created in Midjourney, DALL-E, Ideogram, Leonardo, and Flux using the Junk Journal Pro Prompt Builder. Check the video description for links to our website, Etsy shop, and other useful resources. Thank you for watching.